Hey YouTube, Dawson Rider here. Welcome to my review for the Power Rangers Dino Fury Rip and Go T-Rex Battle Rider. So these are basically budget gimmick bike figures. There is also a green and blue ranger version. However, I decided only to pick up this because you basically get the gist of it from this one figure and there's like really no need to have the other three because the only difference is the design of the bike and then of course the ranger figure, but they're all of the same quality. So, you know, if you're interested in these, you'll be able to get the idea of the quality and function of them. And you know, speaking of ripping, I ripped on these guys pretty hard when they did the announcement of them because I'm not a fan of the unpainted bike figures because I think they look rather cheap and I think they reflect poorly on the line. And these are, you know, mainly for kids. I know that for sure. But I just think in general, you know, Bandai did some of these where they were bike figures with really poorly painted figures. And I think it just looks bad presentation wise. And I have to say, these things aren't great, but they're not as bad as I thought. Like the bike does look rather basic. It's not really that painted. You have a little bit of paint there and you have the different colored plastic. But it's not that bad for what these are because this isn't meant to be a standard bike figure. It's not meant to be a display piece. It's just meant to be fun for kids. And like I said, I have to say, it doesn't look as bad as what I thought for what it's supposed to be. That being said, I still think it could look a little bit better just to not look so cheap in the toy line. Like you would see in the toy aisle and think like, oh man, Power Rangers must be going downhill. Like, like that downhill, get it? Cause like driving. Anyway, I don't know where I was going with that, but you know what I mean? But my point is, it's not as bad as I thought for what it's supposed to be. Not to mention it actually feels more sturdy than I thought. When I first saw these, I thought they were gonna feel really cheap. Like certain toys, some of the old Bandai bike figures in the last days felt really cheap and flimsy. And this doesn't feel like a high quality like plastic, but it feels durable. And it actually has rubber wheels, which actually feels rather nice. And I kind of wish they would do that. It's only on this one, not for this one, but I kind of wish they would do that with regular bike figures. So it feels better than I thought it would. I kind of like the design of the bike. It's not gonna match up to the design of the standard bike figure release. But yeah, overall not bad. You do get this little mini figure, which seeing this, you might think it's permanently attached, but you can actually remove it. And not only can you remove it, but he actually can become unfolded. He's not just permanently in that position. That was another thing Bandai did during the end days is they would have permanently figures like this. And like, you could take it off, but like, what's the point? If you could just have him riding the bike or sitting on the toilet. And it's not going to be that exciting when you take it off of here, but it's not a bad little figure if you just want to have him standing next to there like on a display. It's actually decently painted. Like, again, it's nothing to write home about, but they did actually a pretty good job on it and did more paint than some of the old Bandai bike figures. Scale-wise, if you're curious, this is a standard Dino Fury figure. It comes up to his, well little less than half of the size of it. So it's not, if you couldn't tell the scale, they're definitely smaller than your standard bike figure. But so the main gimmick of this is that it can sort of be ripped to drive forward. Now you would think by looking at this, it's one of those gimmicks where you pull this out and it's like a rip cord. Nope, just Chuck Testa with another realistic mount. What you do is you actually, you pull this out like this. This is getting, uh, okay, anyway. Uh, and then you're supposed to take this and separate it like this. And that's what it does. And then it runs into the wall. It's very strange because you get this little wand thing that like opens up like this. It looks like you're gonna like stoke the fire or something. Stokes, Mariah Stokes. Sorry, haven't done that in a while, but that's what you do. You put this in here and then you spread it open. But if you don't get it right, it's not gonna work. You have to get it just right. So, and that's not how to do it. I totally meant to do that. Oh, 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 there we go. So yeah. I mean, kids will like this, for sure. It's a fun little gimmick. I kind of appreciate that this is unique. That being said, I don't know why they didn't just go with your standard ripcord, like a Beyblade or something. Maybe this is cheaper, I don't know, probably. But I feel like that would have been simpler and more fun and more satisfying. I feel like this one, it just kind of creates confusion and if you don't get it right, it's just not exciting, but yeah. These things are not that great, but they're not as bad as I thought they were. Like, I think if you, your kid would really like this, I think they'll probably enjoy that because that's what it's for. Not really so much for collectors. You know, it's not my thing. I still stand by, even if it's for a kid, that they should have just gone with a standard rip gimmick. But I'll say, I was very harsh on them when they were announced, and I'm not saying all of a sudden this is my favorite thing, but I'll say they're not as bad as what I thought they were going to be like. And, you know, for what they are, just meant to be a cheap gimmick toy for kids to smash into the wall, they're fine. But, you know, I think it could have been more fun with a standard ripcord gimmick. But that's about it for this one, guys. Until next time, if you like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps to ring that bell. See notifications for my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.